This first design is one originally created by Yuri Ritter, and uses these Technic connectors to achieve a really nice sturdy and organic shape for the trunk of the tree. We'll start off with a nice sturdy base made of 2x2 round plates and a few cheese slopes to give some nice detail around the base of the tree. If you have them, one of these palm tree trunk elements makes for a nice taper at the base of the trunk, but if not, you could easily swap it out for another piece. Once you're satisfied with the height and shape of your trunk, we can start adding the branches, which are simply made from these bar connectors. And for the top of the tree, you can use a simple bar as the attachment point for the leaves. And now all you have to do is fill it out with whatever color leaves suit your build the best. You can also experiment with all sorts of different trunk shapes using this basic design. For example, these triple Technic connectors allow you to make a split in the main trunk of the tree. This next tree is one of the sturdiest and easiest designs I've personally come across. And because of that, it's also one of the techniques I have used the most in my personal builds. All you'll need is a long piece of flex tubing, leaves of whatever color you want the tree to be, and some one row and round bricks. Then just slide the leaves over the flex tubing. For this example, I left about one brick between each layer of leaves, but depending on how dense you want your trees, you could adjust that to make it more or less. This third design was originally created by Jonas Cram and utilizes T-bars, bar holder with handle, and bar holder with clip as the main trunk of the tree. This allows for a super flexible trunk that can be made almost any shape and with as many branches as you want. In any places you want to add leaves, I like to use these robot arms attached to nozzles to give a nice attachment point but there's lots of other pieces you could use as well if you don't happen to have those. The only note I have regarding this design is that because the entire trunk is made up of clip connections, it can sometimes be a little tipsy, depending on how you distribute the weight of the leaves. But overall, it's still a really great technique, and if you like these designs but are still looking for some pine trees to add to your builds, check out this video right here.